Hello everyone and welcome back to another a massive chess game from 1915 in Vienna. And in this chess game we have one of the chess games of the founder of the hypermodern chess opening, the Grunfeld defense, Ernst Grunfeld, who is playing with the white pieces, and his opponent is Shankane. And let's see what happened in this chess game, a pretty nice instructive chess game. And uh, Grunfeld actually had a very bad, unfortunate accident, accident at the age of 5 and because of that one of his legs was amputated and he was using a walking stick uh, for the rest of his life. So this is one of his pictures, as you can see he is playing with a kid, maybe in a school in a chess simul. Normally the chess master who is playing, who is giving that chess simul, the simultaneous chess exhibition, usually plays with the white pieces, but in this picture Grunfeld is playing with the black pieces which is an interesting detail and this is a very nice high quality picture and you can also see his walking stick and so he is playing with the black pieces against some of the amateur kids a very nice picture of Ernst Grunfeld okay so let me show you one more picture of Grunfeld So Grunfeld was, uh, he was actually one of the top 10 chess players in 1920s. So in this picture you can see he is playing against no other than the great legendary Alexander Alehin. His lifetime record actually was not very bad against Alehin. It was impressive in my opinion. So he lost 4 times to Alehin and won 1 time which is not bad but drew five times with Alehin. So even defeating Alehin once and drawing with Alehin five times was pretty impressive as Alehin was playing like a computer. So Grunfeld was one of the leading chess players in 1920s. So once again this is his picture when he was playing with the kid. A very nice picture. So let me show you what happened in this chess game. Grunfeld starts the game with pushing the d-pawn d5 c4 and we have queen's gambit declined the slow defense knight out e6 e3 knight out bishop out knight out and knight from b to d2 bishop out and castling queen to c7 and pushing the pawn e4 challenging the center charging at the center d takes on e4 knight takes on e4 knight takes bishop takes on e4 and then knight to f6 but defending the bishop of course the bishop is very important if you don't get something in return don't trade your bishop with the knight b6 queen to e2 bishop to b7 knight to e5 rook to d8 rook to d1 defending the d-pawn and also finally shanklin castled Bishop to f4 and in this position Grunfeld is threatening some discovery attacks to the queen. So maybe queen to g6 attacking the rook and the queen. So unpinning bishop to d6. What would you do in this position? This is actually one of the important moments of this chess game. So can you guess the next move of white? What would you do? Well, okay, so if you need, you can also pause the video. So this is the move of Grunfeld. He pushed the pawn c5. This was the move. And actually this move is losing for black. So b takes on c5, d takes on c5. And we have bishop takes on e5. But if bishop takes pawn, accepting the pawn sacrifice, then here comes knight to g6. And this is a discovery attack to the queen and also attacking the rook. So after defending the queen, knight takes on f8, and this is losing for black. White is much better. Okay, so after... So this was actually the very simple move. Pushing the c-pawn, c5. B takes on c5, d takes on c5, and then bishop takes knight, bishop takes, on e5 
and we have queen to a5. But then Grunfeld simply captured the knight and the damage has been done in the king side. In this position, if hoping to defend, then bishop to d6, and that's a nasty skewer, and this is losing for black, once again. So, after bishop takes on e5, after defending the queen, simply capturing the knight, and damaging the pawn structure in the king's side, and there is no g-pawn guarding the king. So, queen to g4 check, only move, and queen to h4 by Grunfeld, both attacking the f-pawn and also threatening checkmate on h7. Black thought that he has the solution with pushing the pawn, but now queen in, queen to e7 by Grunfeld, attacking the bishop and infiltrating on the 7th rank. So black is defending the bishop and what would you do in this position if you had the white pieces? Which move is the winning move? It looks like black is defending the rook with the queen, so capturing the rook is definitely not the move. What would you do? So if I give you 3 seconds, can you guess the next move of white? Which is starting from now. Okay, so in this position, Grunfeld pushed the pawn and black resigned. Yes, after this move, black resigned. Because black is going to lose a piece. So if capturing the pawn with the queen, then rook takes rook. It is all over for black. And if rook takes on d1, then rook takes on d1. And there is double threat. The first threat is attacking the rook, checkmate, capturing the rook, checkmate. The second threat is winning the queen. So if defending the checkmate threat, capturing the queen, and this is all over for black. Very nice instructive chess game by Ernst Grunfeld, the founder of the Grunfeld defense. So thank you very much for watching. This was the chess game of one of the notable chess games of Grunfeld. So in this position pushing the pawn and black resigned. So I hope that you have seen the key moves in this chess game. And I hope to see you next time with more beautiful chess games from the chess history. Take care and bye bye.